Hello, book club friends. I am here with the book club selection for May of 2021. I'm very excited about this book. Forest Bathing, How Trees Can Help You Find Health and Happiness. So I talk quite a bit in my practice when I'm working with clients about something called Shinrin Yoku, which is the art of forest bathing. And um, so, you know, it's something that we all would do very well to spend more time in the trees and learn how trees can really benefit us and support us. So as always, I'm going to start by reading the description on the back of the book, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the book. Notice how a tree sways in the wind. Run your hands over its bark. Take in its citrusy scent. As a society, we suffer from nature deficit disorder, but studies have shown that spending mindful, intentional time around trees, what the Japanese call shinrin yoku or forest bathing, can promote health and happiness. In this beautiful book featuring more than 100 color photographs of forests all around the world, including the forest therapy trails that crisscross Japan, Dr. Quinn Lee, the world's foremost expert in forest medicine, shows how forest bathing can reduce your stress levels and, boot and blood pressure, strengthen your immune and cardiovascular systems, boost your energy, mood, creativity, and concentration, and even help you lose weight and live longer. Well, that all sounds great. Once you've discovered the healing power of trees, you can lose yourself in the beauty of your surroundings leave everyday stress behind and reach a place of greater calm and wellness. So part of the reason that I chose this book is because I do talk about Shin Minyoku and I thought it might be good to learn a little bit more about it and to sort of dive a little deeper into that. So I thought that was definitely a good exercise. I also thought that it would be good to have a wellness book you know, something for personal wellness uh, as an addition to a lot of the nutrition-based books or food-based books that we've been reading lately. So this sounded really great. Um, there are some studies referenced in the back of the book, so definitely they back it up with science and that sort of thing. One of the other things that I wanted to share is that when I got this book, it is essentially 300 pages. So that means a reading pace of approximately 10 pages per day. However, having said that, the way it's written, this is gonna be a fast read folks. The pages are not very text intense. Plus there are a lot of pictures. And so it's going to be wonderful. As a matter of fact, if you, I don't know if this will show up on the camera or not, but if you look at the side, all those dark sections in there indicate that there are photographs in there. So there's a lot, it's a photo heavy, not text heavy information about forest bathing. So I thought it might be good. I also picked this book in part because I'm hearing a lot from people about stress, you know, given where we are right now and what's going on, there's still an awful lot of stress in the world. And so people are feeling overwhelmed and they're looking for ways to reduce their stress and, and incorporate more things that could be supportive for overall health and well-being. And I'm, I'm a big fan of going for a walk in the woods. Like I said, I also think that it would be great to learn some of the science behind this. So I'm going to put the link down below. I hope you will join me for this next book. I think it's going to be a great read, Forest Bathing, How Trees Can Help You Find Health and Happiness. So we'll learn about it together in the Healthy Readers Book Club. See you there. Bye, folks.